What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronics. So I'm gonna be showing you the best crypto wallet to be using in 2019 and beyond. All right, so I've personally been trading crypto for the last couple of years. Fortunately, I haven't done any trading for the last two and a half months and thank God because things have really tanked and gone for the worst. Now, this could actually be a good opportunity for people to get in and start buying because prices are really low and I really don't think crypto is gonna be going anywhere uh, anytime soon. So I really think it's here to stay, but I'm gonna show you the process I've been using up up until this point, I'll have links in the description if you want to check out either of these apps. And um, of course, I'll leave a link down there for a course you can take to if you want to learn more about crypto. Okay, anyways, when it comes to a straight wallet, you know, for, you know, buying, holding, transferring in and out of your checking account, Coinbase is going to be my go-to. Now, let me explain. First off, there's over 20 million people who use Coinbase. Um, you know, I've done a lot of... Uh, I've done a lot of uh, you know trades on here in the past, but I'm just using it as a wallet for right now. And you can just see some of my transfers uh, that I've you know had in and out of here. But basically, I don't have any money in this account right now. Um, but as far as you know, just keeping your money in here for a wallet, it works really well. Now, Coinbase has a few features on it that I want to get into. Um, you can actually do trading on here as well. So after you've set up your account and you know, you've connected your checking account, you can start transferring money into Coinbase. You can do actual trading on here if you want, uh, which I'm just gonna show you. But like they have pretty much like the main cryptos on here, like Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin. And uh, you can see that I think they're gonna be adding some more coins in the future, but right now, you know, this is basically all you can actually trade on uh, Coinbase. Now, another reason, and I really gotta point this one out, you're insured up to $250,000 on Coinbase, which is pretty much why you wanna have, you know, your money on here, okay? So that's, that's one of the biggest reasons, you know, they're gonna insure your money, and I mean, that's really the biggest selling point for me. But anyways, let's say you get your Coinbase uh, account set up or whatever, and you put some money into it. You will have the option to check out some of these cryptos on here. Um, you can pull up different pricing. You know, you've got one hour pricing, one day, one week, one month, one year, and then the all price. You could also hover your finger over here to check out, you know, the different price histories, which is cool. You can also set up alerts. So if you want to set up an alert for a price drop on, you know, some of these cryptos that are available on here, you can do that, which is pretty cool too. But as far as a straight wallet, your money's going to be safe on Coinbase and it's very easy to get money in and out of your checking account, uh, which is really just why I recommend them as far as a wallet. So if you're looking for just a straight wallet, Coinbase, you really can't go wrong there. Uh, the way I've been doing this though, and I got to push everybody to, uh, you know, this one, it's Binance. Now, Binance is really where you want to do your actual trading. So when you've got your Coinbase account set up, you can start transferring money to Binance, which is, you know, in my opinion, and I'm pretty sure right now it is, it's the biggest crypto exchange in the world. They've got an amazing app, you know, for literally just doing trades on your phone. You can do this stuff so fast. It's really cool. So uh, let's say, for example, um, you want to check out uh, some pricing for some of these coins. And like I said, it's been really bad. I mean, things have really just dropped. It's been, you know, constant drops. Uh, but you can pull up 24 hour price changes on different coins on here. Uh, you can check out the last price, which is going to pull up, you know, uh, obviously like Bitcoin uh, is going to come up here. And then, of course, you've got like the volume. So you can see, you know, what's being bought and sold. You can search by name. But, you know, as far as like an app that, lets you make trades pretty much like on the fly. It's an incredible app. Uh, even though things have gone really bad, you know, you've got over a hundred different coins you can trade on um, Binance, which is awesome, you know, and let's just pull uh, just pull something up here. So let's click on Neo. I was gonna buy this one and thank God I didn't because it has been cut in half. It was trading around like 15 uh, when I was thinking about putting a, like a lot of money into it. Like a, I was thinking about putting like four or 5,000 into this and I'm glad I didn't because I would have lost half pretty quick. Um, but anyways, you can pull up different uh, graphs on here. So you've got, you know, candlestick charts, which is, uh, you know, reds, the selling, greens, the buying. So it shows you, you know, like what's happening as far as like buying and selling. You can pull up different, you know, time frames for uh, these charts too, which is cool. And then of course you can 
just pull up like the volume of what's going on with it and stuff. So I mean, it's pretty analytical and you can also set alerts down here for price movements and changes based on what you're looking to buy at. When you're ready to buy, you would just put your total amount in, in dollars and then, you know, you'd be ready to go and that's pretty much it. So I mean, uh, as far as like, you know, the buying and selling on here, it's very easy to do. Once you've bought, you know, whatever amount of coin you've got, you can hold it for literally 30 seconds, a minute, five minutes, a day, a week, a month, however long you wanna hold it. But you know, as far as like an exchange goes, this is where you wanna be doing your trading. I mean, Binance is awesome. So after you've done, uh, after you've set up your Coinbase account, you would transfer some money into Binance and then, you know, they're pretty much cohesive. So I mean, you can, uh, you know, obviously when you're you're done trading on here, you can transfer your money back into Coinbase, put it back in your checking account or whatever you plan on doing. But, you know, that's how this works. Uh, it's what I've been doing. Like I said, I've been doing this for a couple of years. I had a good year this year. Um, I stopped trading though for like the last two and a half months. So I could have lost a lot of money, but I think I was around somewhere in 4,000 in profit for the year doing this, uh, trading some of like the less known coins. Like I stay away from, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum and those ones, even Litecoin I've stayed away from. I've just been messing around with some of the smaller cryptos and that's just how I've been doing things. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, you can always hit me up below in the comments um, and I'll get back to you. I will leave links below for Coinbase and Binance. I recommend everybody check them out. Uh, I think it's worth putting a little bit of money in to see how things go you know, over the next like 12 months as we get into this year. And uh, I'll leave a course link down there too if you wanna learn more about crypto and whatnot. If you'd also hit the like and share button, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching guys and we will see y'all later.